Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Today we have a 1967 Land Rover Series 2A. Gorgeous truck, my jeez. Thank you, it's very original. It's, it's a 35,000 mile truck. It has all its original sheet metal. It really qualifies as a survivor because we have done light paint but with no body work. Um, because someone had started to sand the paint before, so yeah. it was uneven. Uh, so we stripped it down to the bare aluminum, when we say bare metal, yeah. and found no evidence of any type of uh, damage. So it's got all original panels, huh? Yeah. yeah. Original chassis, too. Original chassis, too, which is unusual, because most of these have had um, replacement, uh, you know, sometimes galvanized steel, but this didn't need it. To, uh, it's in perfect condition. It is pretty. So it features some interesting things. It has a safari um, double roof, which provides an extra layer of insulation against the sun, and it's got four vents built, to, built into that, so you can actually open the vents and suck the air in from between the two roofs. And then it has all its sides. Okay. So it's a very cool running truck. The roof's removable, the door's removable, right? The windshield pops down. Such a cool look. The engine compartment is nicely detailed, but very original. That's great. Four wheel drive, naturally. Four speed. Now, the 2A, we were saying that this is the model 2A, so there were uh, three ranges of this through the Series 3 before the Defender came out. Uh, and the 2A is considered by the purists to be the one to have because, because the transmission is the sturdiest. It does not have synchro in first gear, which the Series 3 does have. Yeah. But as a result, the gears are uh, cut much thicker and tougher, so it's an all-round strong gearbox. And it's, it pulls so well that starting in second doesn't make any difference. Uh, and if you do know how to double clutch is very easy to drop in the first sure all the all the uh, hubs work perfectly uh, we, we tightened up all this uh, linkage on the suspension so it runs looks beautiful underneath interior has the uh, you know the, the opposed seating in the back triple seating in the front so you can really put seven people in here huh you can Officially put seven people. 34,802 miles. Yeah, all original instruments. Really cool. There's storage under these seats um, with lockable compartments. I like the defrost. That's pretty yeah, cool. That was Very primitive. Right. So cool. And that's so cool. And then this is uh, this is your air conditioning system. <laughs> oh, there you yeah. go. Nice big vents. Factory air. <laughs> Cool. Cool jump seats too. Yeah. All the all the upholstery on it is in beautiful condition. The floors under here are immaculate. Uh, same in the front. We can lift one of those and show you. We put all new weather stripping in. That was one of the mm -hmm. things that did dry out. Sure. So this is an auxiliary mat. That's a factory mat, and there's the car. There's the original floor. Wow, that is perfect. Really is nice. We fired up. Sure. So you have a choke here. Starter button here. Make sure we're in. Put the handbrake on, which works beautifully. And this is your starter button. <laughs> Put the choke on, man. I did. Guys, it's I, like I 30 degrees I here right now. It. Um, 
it might help if you turn the key on. <laughs> All right, let's try that. <laughs> Where's my button? That's what I'm to start. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Mike, you're funny. Yeah, you got to have that key on for it to work. <laughs> Little Weber carburetor on here. It's like a sewing machine. The Weber carburetor invariably on the British cars makes them run right. You know, um, and it's just no exception. Nice and smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. You can burn any oil. Really cool. Great running. Well guys, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Feel free to give us a call. We're at 631-339-0399. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us. Mike's pleasure.